Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nancy Velasquez and I'm going to talk to you today about React SketchUp. So before we uh, dive into uh, uh, React SketchUp, I'd like to make sure you all know what Sketch is. So what is Sketch? Sketch is a vector-based tool used to design websites, icons, and user interfaces. It's user-friendly, so it's easy to learn. It's cheaper than Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator at only $100 per year, and it's lightweight and fast. So it opens up very quickly, and it doesn't take up as much space. And it's so popular among designers that according to the 2016 Design Tool Survey by Hacking UI and General Assembly, Sketch is the most popular uh, wireframing tool out there used by a third of respondents, and the most popular user interface design tool used by half of respondents. So um, here's an example sketch. Uh, that I created and um, some other benefits are that um, in Sketch you can have several artboards on just one page so it's really easy to have an entire project in just one sketch. Um, it's easy to view, easy to share and it also has lots of plugins that you can play around with. So the problem, how do you manage communication between designers and engineers at a company like Airbnb? As you all know, uh, Airbnb has grown tons in the past few years. Uh, they're in 65,000 cities and 191 countries. Given such a big company, they have dozens upon dozens of designers. Um, but at the end of the day, Airbnb needs to have one cohesive brand and one user experience. Plus, uh, their whole thing is to inspire trust through design. So how do you do that with so many people? They all have to be on the same page. Um, and you have so many different platforms and devices, technology is always changing. How do you keep your features synchronized and how do you do so efficiently? Well, you need to start with a design system. So a design language system is a collection of colors, topography styles, and components used to create the majority of any app. So you need one common language to work with um, so that the user experience can be uh, the same uh, wherever you go in your app. So um, signs of a good design system, according to Airbnb, designers can reuse styles, components, and patterns, and engineers can confidently implement new features. Why? Um, you want your designers to focus on higher level thinking, like inspiring trust, and you want engineers to work efficiently, so you don't want too much back and forth. Um, so here's their former sketch files for their design language system. As you can see, it can get complicated pretty quickly, especially if you have to change one thing. You change a color, you have to go through and make sure the color matches everywhere. If you want to change the font, you have to make sure all your sketch files are updated. Somehow you have to keep this uh, coordinated within the department. Everyone has to know about it so that in the future everyone's using the most up-to-date version. So you can see, um, especially as your company grows uh, and your team grows, the problems can spiral out of control. So. Um, with this massive sketch library uh, comes a new problem. Managing assets of design system in Sketch is complex, error prone, and time consuming. So uh, at the end of the day, everyone questions, what's the one source of truth? So just to model this frustration, what's the color? What's the uh, most recent component? And then everyone gets frustrated, and <laughs> that sucks. So. According to John Gold of Airbnb, the fewer sources of truth we have for a design system, the more efficient we are. So enter React Sketch App, Airbnb's new open source library, where you can maintain the design language system by generating sketch files directly from code. In other words, you uh, can write React components that render the sketch document. So your sketch templates and your React uh, code uh, are always in sync. And so just like us developers can pull from master to get the latest code, now you can pull from master to get the latest design. So benefits besides having a source of truth, seamless integration with data, layout with Flexbox, and automatic internalization. So what does this mean? Data integration with Foursquare. Um, previously, it was really difficult to use real data with Sketch, uh, so you use fake data. Um, now it's easy to fetch and incorporate real data into Sketch using traditional APIs and GraphQL. So um, here's an example. You just changed Taqueria to Coffee in San Francisco to Berlin, and it just updates automatically in Sketch. Just control save and boom, you have it. Then um, uh, with layout with Flexbox, 
Here you have an iPhone 5 template, and you can just cop, uh, just paste in some new uh, template sizes instead of having to drag in Sketch and like copy and paste all those components and size them or whatever. You can just uh, do the code, and it automatically updates. Yeah. So just you know, less than a second, ba basically. Um, and this is a lot more efficient, uh, efficient. And then um, with automatic internalization, you can now use Google Translate API to automatically translate text into multiple languages. You'll see that they'll put uh, some languages in the code, and it'll just pop up in the video here. Um, boom. So there you have it. Previously, companies might have used an Excel spreadsheet where they'd have to like, input it. Now they just do it with the code. It's faster. So um, workflow example. Previously, designers uh, designed in Sketch. The programmers uh, did the React components. And then so there were two sources of truth. Um, there was a constant battle. Um, you know, did the designer update it? Did the engineer update it? And then um, you know, they just start to go farther and farther away from each other until no one really knew what the truth was. Um, so now the workflow is designers design core components in Sketch. Programmers code the React components to generate the sketch design. And then uh, designers can pull from that core React component to quickly create new sketch files uh, for non-core uh, designs. And so this, as you edit the source of truth, all sketch files that depend on that core component are ad automatically updated. Um, plus, you have a log of all the changes. So you can find out, hey, when did we change this color? Oh, that was like, you know, in March or whatever. So. Um, here's a swatch of colors. This is a basic example. You can note like the text color, and I'm going to show you the code. Um, so here, um, they just uh, import React Sketch app, import Chroma, which is a, which is a JavaScript library for color conversions. Um, and then in this function text color, uh, takes a hex code and it just outputs a text color um, based on the Chroma contrast value. Um, here, they uh, in the swatch. Uh, constant. Um, it uh, assigns a height and a width for all the little squares and puts inputs the text. Um, and then here it uh, defines the artboard um, and then you can map over the little squares. And then finally you have your data in here and it uh, renders to sketch. And um, a quote from Nazmo Idris of Google in his review um, of React Sketch App. He said that the, uh, the genius idea from Airbnb's design engineering team was to create some code and use React um, to target Sketch as the output device. Uh, so instead of rendering output to the DOM as React does, uh, React Sketch app targets Sketch as the de device that things render to. So um, that's the output again. Um, and moving forward. Alex Schlieffer of Airbnb said, we're investing in code as a design tool, moving closer to working with assets that not only include layout and design, but also logic and data. This helps bridge the gap between engineers and designers, thus reducing the need for design specs or red lines, and the steps between vision and reality. So major takeaways. Um, as programmers, we always want to be efficient, not only in how we code, but also how we work with our team, um, and also, React is pretty awesome. So, I mean, last week I was using uh, React 3 Renderer, which renders re uh, uh, into a 3JS uh, canvas through React. So, um, props to the team at Airbnb, Nazmo Idris for his review, and then some resources, what is Sketch um, and React Sketch App. So, thank you very much.